need to make sure our customers understand that we're exploring all possibilities for the future so that we can achieve carbon neutrality. We have a commitment to achieve operational carbon neutrality by 2035 and carbon neutrality with our products by 2050. So it didn't happen overnight. The leadership at Yamaha Motor Corporation's headquarters has been working on the multiple technologies to achieve the carbon neutrality for 2050. And in the uh, persuasion of that effort, brought the, uh, the idea of hydrogen or clean technology to be brought on the water. Kobe Kakubo is a really interesting guy. He's kind of this all shucks guy. He doesn't really hold himself in a way that says, hey, I designed that motor. But he is the father of the XTO. And he is also the father of the hydrogen version of that motor. I'm leading this project. Previously, I've dedicated my effort to the develop of the hydrogen combustion engine for outboard motor. Uh, Yamaha has uh, developed the uh, hydrogen air combustion engine, not for marine, but also the uh, land vehicle and the golf cart. Next, uh, we utilize our technology to uh, marine for outboard motor. Yamaha has a unique position in the marketplace in that Yamaha is a provider of outboard motors to independent boat builders. Therefore, we have to make sure that we provide systems, not just outboard motors. So the fuel system is something that we needed to be able to engineer and bring to life for our customers. Of course, we do have our own in-house technologies available from us. However, we are always short of hands and the practice of engineering and bringing all the pieces together. And I have the pleasure of bringing those two companies together. You know, when you look at Roush's history around hydrogen, right, we've been at it for a long time. It's been a good two decades that we've been working at hydrogen, and it's, and it's everything from land speed record vehicles that have run out in Bonneville salt flats all the way through spacecraft. And so a lot of that knowledge, uh, skill sets that we've acquired over the years, we're applying directly to this Yamaha project. We pride ourselves on being a premium brand and that includes the relationships that we have, and we have some tremendous relationships with independent boat builders. One of them is Regulator. It made sense to ask Regulator if they would support this project, and they did. So we've been partners with Yamaha since 19, woo, a long time, 1995. Partnership's very deep, great relationship, and so when this, this new enhancement came with the opportunity to you know, alternative fuels, and they needed a boat to test it in. Of course, we're going to raise our hand. Roush, in general, we're the systems integrator, right? So we're responsible for fuel system design, all the specifications development, integration, physical integration, as you see behind me in the boat, safety system analysis, and then testing and development work. So we're sort of doing, uh, under Yamaha's direction, everything from the beginning, taking it from their concept all the way to delivering a test article. So storing gasoline is a lot different than storing hydrogen. When we design the boat for a gas fuel system, we can make a custom tank that holds that fuel. Right now we have a 26 that was designed to hold gasoline, but not necessarily hydrogen tanks. There's a lot of uh, modifications required to the hull to maintain structure and integrity of the hull. Um, fortunately, you know, we've had a great partner in Regulator. Regulator's been engaged in the project since inception. So as we're moving bulkheads around structural elements of the hull, they've been involved with every one of those decisions. So what you gotta do is you gotta ad-lib and kind of figure out where it needs to go because it, it can't go with a gas wind. 
quite honestly, when I look in here, these are our big tanks. They're a lot bigger than I was thinking they were. But the reality is, today, they're taking up what we would consider valuable space. Space where our customers would ask for a fish box or their marine head. That is today, but in the future, as we design boats, if this proves to be what we think it's going to be, we'll design around those fuel tanks. The ecosystem of hydrogen technology is still immature, if I may say so, and that will be one of the challenges for us to bring this technology to the market. Though, engineering-wise, we believe this technology is one of the key technologies to achieve the carbon neutrality in the future for us. You have to figure out infrastructure for it, where are your filling stations, what do they look like. You have to standardize the operating system somewhat so that everybody's working for, like, from the same pressures, the same systems are used throughout, so that there's a level of safety that everybody can depend on. Hydrogen is also the lightest atom. So you have to be careful about how that infrastructure is going to be built and technically what it's going to take to build that and what it's going to cost to build that. We have to explore all these things. There's always shortcomings with the introduction of new technology, but is it viable? Absolutely. You know, and that's really, I think, what Yamaha is trying to demonstrate is, can hydrogen be used in this market successfully? And I think we'll find out the answer is yes. This can work. We're showing you this can work. Here, here's a boat. We built one. and so. The question is going to be answered in a demonstration of hydrogen-powered boat, powering through the waves. I, I hope the industry and the ecosystem surrounding the uh, green technology in the marine industry to take this uh, our proof of concept as a successful example of bringing the hydrogen technology as an available technology for the marine industry. But what we really want to take away and to gain from this is that if we don't look for a new source, we won't find a new source. So innovation creates sometimes a little turmoil and sometimes a little angst, sometimes a little pain. But at the end of the day, good stuff comes out that that's innovation and it starts with someone asking a question. Being a premium product means wanting to lead and Yamaha wants to lead in this respect. We also want our competitors to come on board. We'd be happy to see folks who compete with us working on infrastructure issues, working on policy issues, because we know the entire marine industry is gonna be looking to multiple technology solutions.